Right, hi everybody. Let's have a look at creating your templates. So in order to access your templates, what you would do is you would click on settings and then you would click on templates over here. So your account will probably come with some default templates that um, have been put into your account. Here you can see I've got some templates put into my account. This instructional template here, I am just going to delete that because I don't want that. So I can just delete my templates that I don't need. Um, and what I want to do now is just show you how to create your templates. Your templates really are your IP. Um, so it really is down to you as the users to create a template that suits your specific requirements. Now the templates are very, very flexible. So I just want to run through how to quickly and effectively create um, a template. So let's just add a new template over here. So I'm going to click on add template and I'm going to give this one a name and we're going to call it um, demo template. Okay. And I could give it a description if I want to. I can also assign this particular uh, template to an inspection type. So here you can see every time I book a commercial inspection, I want this demo template. Let's actually call it demo um, commercial template. Um, and it's going to auto recommend this template every time I choose the inspection type commercial inspection. I could also do the same for the property type of the furnishings and the bedrooms and the bathrooms. Okay, so create template. There it is there. And now I want to edit the template and create the template itself. There you can see it's assigned to the inspection type commercial inspection. Very simple. I just click on edit template. If I click on edit details, it's just going to show me those details again and I can change them um, if I need to. Um, so what I want to do is I can either click on the template here or click on edit template and it's going to now give me the option to start building the template. So a couple things I want to show you. The first is at the bottom here you can see your different block types or room types um, that you can choose from. So this block type that you can see here where you have an item then a description and then a condition three different columns that is what we call the detailed block. If I click on a summary block, it's very similar, just got slightly less level of detail. Now, generally, when you perform an inspection, the more detail you go into, the longer it takes. So you need to find a block type that suits the type of inspection and the amount of detail that you need to capture at a property. Then we have a simplified one, which is a lot quicker when you're at a property because it's simply push buttons. Um, and here you can see we've got our items we want to check in our block. And we are saying whether everything is clean, undamaged and working. And we're just simply saying yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, or non-applicable. Um, the other option we've got is a question block. There you can see it. Um, and this would be sort of like a checklist that you would have. We've also got the option of, of a rating block. And you can choose between a three and a five star. Um, and there you can see within a certain area, we have various items we want to check and we want to rate them. Then we have a key block um, for all your various keys. Um, and what else do we have? Meters, manuals, and alarms. So those are the blocks that you can choose from when you're creating your, when you're creating your templates. So let's go ahead, um, and I'm going to choose a detailed block over here. Let's just remove that one. And I'm going to say this is the entrance entrance area okay so there we go it's the entrance and then I've got various items that I want to check so I'm going to check the floors I'm going to check the walls I'm going to check the uh, ceiling I'm going to check the doors etc etc so see how easy it is to add the items that you want to check on a block or a room. Now, the next thing I want to show you is once you've created an area, um, let's just pretend this one is actually a bedroom. So I'm going to change it to bedroom. And I've got all my items in here that I want to, that I want to check in the bedroom. Now, instead of going bedroom two and creating it or master bedroom and adding all these items again I've got the option to copy over here so I click on copy and there you can see there's all my items in that room that I want to copy from and I want to 
added into a new room. So I want to create um, bedroom two. I want to create uh, bedroom three. And I actually want to have a master bedroom as well. And I click copy. And now you'll see I've got all the blocks or the rooms with all the items that has been copied over. So that's really, really useful. Spend time getting all the items in your bedroom that you want to check and then copy it and create your bedroom two, three, four, etc. Very similar for a lounge and a dining room. It would be similar items that you want to check. So create a lounge and then copy it to a dining room. So let's have a quick look at a simplified um, block here. And let's just make this one a living room. And in the living room, we want to check the uh, windows. We want to check um, the doors. We want to check the lights. And we want to check uh, the walls and the floors. The walls and the floors. Okay, so there we go. Um, and then in the app, we're simply going to be saying, is everything clean? Is everything undamaged? Is everything working? One little tip that you can um, do is if you if you really want to save time or you push for time, you can actually pre-fill in um, your template with um, descriptions or conditions pre-filled in. And then what you're doing at the property is simply looking for things that are out of the ordinary. So that's a little tip for people who really pushed for time and really want speed at an inspection. So I'm going to pre-fill everything. Everything's in good order. And then when I'm at the property, I'm simply going to change the ones um, that aren't uh, either working or there is some damage or it is dirty. And again, this living room is exactly the same as I would like to check in my TV room. So I'm going to click on there and I'm going to go TV room. Okay, there we go. So there's my TV room. Uh, there's my living room and um, really that's as simple as it is in terms of creating your um, your templates now one thing you'll notice there's various ways to create templates so we could actually I'm just going to go back to this template and I'm going to now completely change it I'm going to pretend that this is a um, residential template and I could make this for a three bed. And what I could do then is I could copy this template. So there we go. There's copy. And I'm going to create a copy of it. And there's the copy. And now I'm going to change the details. I'm going to make this one a four bed. There we go. And all I'm going to do is go into my template now. And I'm going to find my bedroom three and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to make a bedroom four. Okay, so very simple to create um, templates from previous templates and add additional rooms if you if you want to. One thing I'll notice though is this template I've just created is bedroom four sitting right at the bottom and I don't want it there. So I can click on these three lines over here and I can then move bedroom four to under uh, bedroom three. So there we go. I've just moved the bedroom to where it needs to be. So here I can drop and drag the rooms to the correct, correct position in the template. So when it comes to residential properties or even commercial properties, just a quick tip. Um, you've got uh, the option of creating templates for each number of bedrooms and bathrooms or areas that you want to check. The other option is to create a master template um, and simply delete the rooms that are non applicable on your first inspection. So um, let's just go back to our templates. If I had a master, here's one here, move in, move, move out, simple template. Okay, so it's our simplified block, block types. This is the template here. Um, and what you'll notice is there is five bedrooms and three bathrooms. So this template could be used for all your residential uh, inspections up to five bedrooms and three bathrooms. And the first time you do an inspection on the property, you could simply delete the rooms that are non-applicable. And thereafter, the edited template 
with the data would pull through to your subsequent inspection. So it's very easy in the app to delete rooms or blocks rather than add. So those are your two options. Create a master template, delete the blocks or rooms that are non-applicable, or create um, a larger number of templates for each different configuration of bedrooms and bathrooms. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I want to show you in terms of the in terms of the templates. Um, as you can see, you've got the the, the option here to delete um, and copy, etc., etc. So very very simple in terms of creating um, your templates. Do spend a lot of time working on your templates because the easier you can make it. Um, for the person performing the inspections by having good quality templates, the better. Another thing I've seen people do is actually create, let's just actually go out of here. So I'm just going to go back to a different inspection type. Uh, here's a summary block type. And when it comes to, for example, security gate, they've already pre-filled in some of the information. So you can actually type in the conditions um, and then those can simply be modified when you're performing the inspection. So I hope that makes sense. Um, let's just scroll through this one slowly. As you can see, living rooms, uh, dining rooms, you can see that the, the items are very similar per room. Kitchen would have a few extra things added. Um, bedrooms, let's go all the way down past the bedrooms. Your bathrooms would obviously have some additional items in there. I know I'm scrolling quite quickly, but I think you get the idea. Um, garage would have different items. Um, and then you could have an exterior garden, swimming pool, uh, depending on the types of property that you're performing um, inspections on. Um, but really, I think that's about it for templates. Good luck in terms of building your templates. I would definitely spend time on template building. And one of the topics we're going to cover shortly is dictionary items. Um, again, I would spend some time getting the system set up with my dictionary items to speed up my ability to perform inspections at the property.